Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So uh, I had this idea that I thought I would uh, kind of share with you guys and I wanted to make a video and talk about the uh, the 97 Cobra and really the 96 and 98 Cobras because I, I want to I wanna say, you know, if someone's like on a budget, if they're a, Mus if they're a Ford guy, if they're a Mustang guy, what's the best car for the money? Say like 10 grand or less, if they can swing for it. If you're looking for like for your first Mustang or something. And I think the 96 and 98 Cobras are the best bang for buck. And I'm going to go ahead and give my reasons and talk about that when I go to my spot. So I get to drive it today. I'm super excited because you guys probably don't know, but it's my favorite car out of all three. And we have my 03 Mach 1 and my dad's 2003 Terminator Cobra that we picked up last year. This car has been in the family for over 15 years. I've known this car since I was five years old. So really excited to talk about it and just give my experiences and talk about why i think it's the greatest car for the money so let's get to it Hey guys, I made it back to my stop. Uh, I got the Cobra out, so I'm excited to uh, talk about. First of all, see that in the background? Yep, American flag, baby. Always gotta represent. Represent the flag, represent the flag. That's right. But back to my point. Um, yeah, I wanted to talk about why I think this car is, and this is just my opinion, of course, everyone has their own opinion, but I wanna talk about why I think this is the best car for the money, for 10 grand or less. Now, there's a couple of reasons why I think it is, first of all, for the money, there, there are a lot more cleaner cars than other cars, for example. Like, my Mach 1, for example, if you try looking for a Mach 1, they sell for a lot higher than these, and in some cases, they sell with a lot higher mileage, and sometimes people do the things you wouldn't want done like a cow hood to cover the shaker up or a bunch of just odd things on those cars and they rag them out really bad just like because they consider it like terminators as close to a terminator and stuff like that so it was really hard to find a really clean car for a mach 1 i i looked for over a year in my last video like i talked about and uh, i happened to find that one and it was the cleanest car and had the built motor and all that stuff you just got to really look for a car but overall those cars are a lot better shape for the money and in some cases you can find low mileage ones for example on facebook here in florida i saw a white 97 cobra same interior black on black 95,000 miles guy was asking 8100 dollars obo that's insane and i read the read the ad and it seemed really legit of course every car you got to pay attention to but that's one thing is for the money you can get a really clean car um number two the performance for the category that you're in, I don't think you'll find a, a better all-around car. These cars, let me pop the hood for you. All right, guys, we're underneath the hood. So this engine is a 4.6 liter, four valve, dual overhead cam, Cobra motor, and it is a aluminum block. And at the factory, these cars are rated at 305 horsepower and 300 foot pounds now by modern standards obviously that's not a crazy amount because this car doesn't have a lot of technology in it and blah 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 so it's slower than the newer cars but you get an amazing car for the money you really do and for one thing the reliability is a huge part now like i said this car has been in the family for 15 years and i kid you not this is this is me talking here there has, I'm gonna knock on wood right here. You're, you saw it first. There has not been any 
major issues with this car ever. It's only been routine maintenance and just replaceable parts like a uh, mass sensor because of the way we have our cold air uh, intake set up because it's down low. Um, a TPS sensor, just, just sensors and stuff. It's nothing, it's never been crazy. And my dad's taking really good care of this car and it's shooting us really well. Trans, no issues. It's on the stock motor, stock transmission, stock rear end and all original by the way so stock all original powertrain stock drive shaft stock you know everything the only thing that's done to this car it's just some bolt-ons that's it stock headers and it has uh, bbk off-road h-pipe and flow master mufflers out back cold air intake gears and a short throw shifter under drive pulleys that's it and the car is you know everything else is aesthetics but everything else is um pretty much stock and it's been really good and it keeps up very well i'll have to insert a clip of me racing against a guy in a 370z on the highway but you'll see that a camaro trolled us big time because it's a lot faster Right there with the dude you know and i actually ended up getting him so it was pretty cool that this car is this old and can keep up with newer cars so that's got to be something in mind full interior by the way nothing was taken out of this car full weight so pretty cool um um another thing i guess i would just talk about the looks now clearly our particular car the wing is controversial i get that um you these cars I think they've aged really well, the Cobras anyway. I think the body is uh, incredibly good looking, the body kit and everything. And uh, it's just a real head turner. I think for the money, you're getting a beautiful car. Um, another reason, it's an authentic Cobra for what you're getting. So you get the name, the actual name. You know, you're not driving a fake car. You know, you have SVT, you've got the collectability, the status, the rarity, all that stuff. You know, you're not driving everything else. You're not driving the same car everybody else has. So that's awesome. Um, uh, another reason is the interior actually, 94 to 04 Mustangs. The interior is not that bad, honestly, and it has aged very well. Now, of course, that depends on what car you're looking at and how it was treated. Every car you look at depends on how it's been treated by the previous owner, so always keep that in mind. This car my dad's always owned. It's never had issues. It has been babied and cared for, and it has just been a huge blessing, and it's been an awesome car. But the interior, I mean, don't mind the car's a little dirty, but I mean, look, this is a black-on-black -black interior car. The dash, you know, there's no cracks. There's no, you know, there's no fading anywhere. You know, no cracks in the plastic. There's no nothing, you know? I mean, the uh, you know, when you open the door, uh, this piece is replaceable, but yeah, it gets scratched up a little bit every now because you, you dig your nails into it when you grab the handle. But otherwise, it's been a very clean car. It's a very clean car. Now the seats, obviously they're leather. You drive your car, there's gonna be wrinkles in it. I mean, I don't really consider that wear and tear. That's just normal, honestly. But like on the rest of the interior, it, I mean, the, <laughs> How, how much, you know, what, what do you classify as bad in this car? I know, yeah, it's plastic. It's an American car. I mean, it's, it's you know, it's not a big deal. It really isn't. You buy an American muscle car, you get the name, you get the power, you get the sound. I mean, what more could you ask for? It's something this old, mind you. Um, another thing, I think they hold their value pretty good uh, for what they are, obviously. You know, in some cases, if you can find a really, really low mileage car, they sell for probably 10 and a little bit more sometimes. Um, you know, they're just, uh, if you wanted to, if you if you could balls out and get a really, 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 really nice example, you, you know, if you take care of it and stuff, you could probably get your money back a little bit, you know, maybe. 
but um you know you probably have a better chance of getting some value out of this car compared to a gt or a fox body gt or something like that um another reason i think in my opinion this car is better than the 90 the 99 to 01 cobras now i know they had more power i know they have irs i know they have a different transmission i know all that but the thing is you have a liver axle in this car this is a muscle car so you have a lot less chances of something going wrong in a live axle car and it just does what it's supposed to do uh, independent rear suspension i will admit it is very very nice and it is super super comfortable for a, a muscle car it's 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 awesome if you've never driven one like a terminator or something i highly suggest you do because it's it's really nice but you have to be careful and you have to think about what you do because there's a lot more parts involved and a lot more things could break so it costs a lot more money and you kind of have to like build it up whereas you can keep you know an axle a live at rear axle like the same and just you know dog it and just go have fun there's not really anything to worry about i guess is what i'm trying to say the t45 in this car it's been fine I haven't had any problems with it um like i said there's really there's really no complaints out of me from from this car 96 and 98 cobras i think deserve a lot more credibility they're a really well put together car and if you find a low mileage car if it's been taken care of even if it's stock buy it because you know you can freaking you can do all the things you want to do to it and make pretty good power for what the car is it's not the fastest thing in the world but you've got a head turner it sounds amazing <laughs> SPT, you know, everyone loves SPT, so why wouldn't you try and go for something like this? Now, unless you're that person that just loves New Edge over SN95s and just like and will just get body style for body style, I think you're missing out. I think you guys should really give this car a try. Anybody who sees this video, you know, you can take ideas from this if you want. Clearly, we went pretty exotic with the spoiler and the cow and the wheels and the little and the uh, tire letters and, and whatnot, but um. You know, you can really make this car your own. These cars look really clean if you just do like a rear, if you keep the stock body kit or and just drop it, put some wheels. You can get a, a, a ducktail spoiler, get some chrome salines and white, black, red, whatever. They look really nice. You know, you can just really, really make these cars look really nice. And um, another thing is it's got a lot more safety features <laughs> and a lot more up-to-date things than a Fox body. You know, I'm just gonna just say it what it is. Uh, you got the five lugs conversion you know the conversion you already got five lugs on this car so there's more options for wheels and and stuff like that you got a little bit better brakes interior is nicer you know it's not amazing but it's nicer um i've ridden in some fox bodies and they're kind of rough um you know it's just a little bit nicer of a ride i you know i love fox bodies i do but i just think for the money this is just a little bit of a nicer car that's all so yeah that's pretty much all the reasons i have um if you guys think that i made made, uh, made some good points i would love for you guys to subscribe and stick around because we got two other awesome mustangs uh like the video if you thought that my reasons were reasonable and maybe who knows maybe i turned you guys into maybe wanting a cobra maybe maybe i didn't but i just really think that you guys if you're looking for a mustang you know, look them up on Google. Look them up on YouTube, you know. I mean, just listen to the exhaust and just see if there's any reviews out. These are really, really cool cars. And, you know, they're getting closer to that 25-year mark. I mean, you know, they're you're going to be like collector collectors eventually. So, you know, if you want something that's just going to stand out and just say you've got a really, you know, say you've got a collectible, like legit, like 25 years and stuff, snag one up because in a few years, you know, that's going to happen. So I think it's just pretty cool um it's been a very reliable car sounds great has some get up to it it does it's not crazy fast but has some get up to it and it's a real head turner you know you're, you're like the star of the show when you pull up oh man you got a cobra yes i do and it is legit so it's kind of nice to say so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the video like i said subscribe and like if you enjoyed it and uh, hopefully i'll make some more videos with this car uh thanks again for watching guys